Okay, boys and girls, welcome back to this continuation of the How to Use Bass series. Hopefully you've been following along and watched the other videos so you have a clue what I'm talking about in this video. Um, and just a quick reminder, guys, this is one of the few series uh, also free on the YouTube channel. So um, any of you guys that are watching this on YouTube, I'd really love it if you come and visit us at thebotempire.com. The link will be in the description. And it would make me even more happy if you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified of when I release new videos. Alright guys, with that being said, we've gone over in this series where to get bass from, um, that you only need to download the free version, and also we've talked quite in depth <coughs> excuse me, about resources. Okay, we've made a few resources. Now what we're going to do guys is we're going to start actually building our bots okay so all you need to do that is hit the record button which is here and what you'll see is what your your interface is going to look like to the user okay and if you need to you could fill uh, these fields out these are just your resources so we could use a proxy list here so you just click that icon and tell it where your tell the um sorry <laughs> tell bass where your proxy list is okay the number of threads but none of most of these resources are not connected to the bot yet and you'll see what I mean um, now so once you've done that part and when you first start making a bot you don't need to fill any of this out it's only when you start test running your bot you're obviously gonna need to use these features so hit OK and hit OK again and what's gonna happen is we're gonna be presented with a second screen and this is where the magic happens as they say okay um, you, the first time that you run it, you're going to want to click the icon here that looks like four arrows. That will give you the full screen that you see um, on my screen. Okay, guys. So um, these different sections. The first one over here, okay, to our left, is where the building blocks that we can move over to there, or how how your bot will run. The the flow of your bot is here, so you can see things visually, which is really helpful. The green icon is to run your bot. The next one is to run it um, in one segment, each of the blocks at a time. Obviously, that icon's to stop, and that's to restart. This is our um, to the right is um, our toolbox with all the different things that we can do. So we could we could work with the browser, which we're going to be doing a lot. Script logic is for your flow, like if statements, um, with statements, which we'll go into. That's a bit more in depth. Um, you've got many tools here, here guys, some of them are self-explanatory and some of them are not, but we will be going over them in quite um, good detail. Okay, so the first thing uh, we're going to do is go over this, the browser toolbox, because that is what you're going to be using a, a lot. So, in fact, no, what I'm going to show you first before that is here so we can get stuck in with using resources. So you see up here it says um, successful number of attempts. Successful, that means how many times is it going to run through this block of code that we're going to make down here. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to change that. So simply empty it out and we're going to use this. Load from um, file, user input or database. In other words, use one of your resources. So I'm going to link this to the amount of accounts to make. Okay, and then hit OK and OK again. And you'll see it's changed now here. So the successful number of, um, to run this bot, how many times, is now going to be connected to what, whatever we input in the field for amount of accounts. So if I just stop the script, stop building, and I hit record again, and I change the figure here to say 5, that means that the um, bot will now run five times consecutively. Uh, so if I start building again, so we put five in the input box, so that the bot now knows the successful number of times to run is five because that's what we put in the input box. And for the failed number, I'm going to put connect it to the input box of yep failed um, fails allowed. Hit OK. Hit OK. Hit OK, done. And for the amount of threads to run, that means how many different uh, times this sim uh, to run the bot um, 
together. So if you if you were making a, an account maker and you had two threads running, that's like running the bot um, two times um, at the same time. Okay, we're going to talk about threading in a video. There's a there's three videos on the website, so get over to there to understand that in a bit more detail. But what I'm going to do once again, empty the box. We always use this load from file, user input or database, and just change that to threads. Okay, hit OK, hit OK, hit OK. So I'm just going to go over that with you again. So I just pressed uh, to exit to come back to this screen where we built our resources. If we hit the record button now, and we have threads as two, and we already said the amount of um, accounts to make five, presuming we were making an account maker, you can call these resources whatever you like, as you know. And we change files allowed to five. That's now connected. So now it would run two threads or run the bot two times uh, at, at the same time. Um, it would know that we want to make five attempt uh, five times. We want to run this series of commands. And the file allowed we just put as five. Okay. So I hope that makes a little bit more sense on how we use resources. Um, now. Um, should I go into or should I wait for the next video? I think I'll leave it there to make these videos bite sized guys. So basically we connected some of the resources that we made to our bot. Um, so the user input is used inside our bots. We, we changed the amount of threads, the successful amount of t times to run the script and the file number allowed. In the next video we're going to start building the bot uh, by going into some of this, uh, these uh, tools. Uh, especially the browser input start using our proxies and go on from there guys okay and um, i'll see you in the next video